Hey, Muscle and Strength. This is Brandon Beckridge. We're gonna go to the grocery store and get a little grocery shopping done. We have a leg day today. So I'm gonna go over some things about pre-workout, intra, post-workout nutrition. It's gonna be a big factor. So going over some of the foods that I prefer to do before I train, why they work, why they're optimal, and we're gonna go from there. Tight squeeze. This is my rental. I'm giving you guys tips on strength training and workouts. Here's another tip. To look bigger, you rent smaller cars. I've always thought that pre, intra, and post-workout nutrition is the most important part, obviously, because when you're breaking down the muscle and you're trying to make the body grow, that's when it's gonna be most susceptible to nutrient absorption. So what you're gonna put in your body around those times is gonna make a big difference on the way you perform uh, and the way you recover. All right, guys. Time for a little grocery shopping. Let's get to it. Oh, baby. He's a big guy, huh? shoulders at least. Yeah? Oh. This is all part of the job. Oh, Great. Thank you. Oh, you're Ooh. welcome. The life of a super heavy. All right, guys, so something quick and easy before we train being on the road is they have these microwavable cups of rice. Um, there's about 40 grams of carbs in each one, so it only takes a minute to cook. So for something like today, it's gonna be ideal rather than grabbing rice and having to wait an hour to cook it in that whole mess. So usually I try to get a jasmine rice, um, but this one's long grain white rice, so it'll have to do for today. Hydration is key. A lot of times when people travel, they cut back with their water intake based on traveling and inconvenience, so it'll help flush it out quite a bit. Bodybuilding on a budget, um, probably what I see most is when people buy frozen chicken breast. Well, they are cheaper, but the fact is that they, have, they retain a lot of water. So if you ever cook a frozen chicken breast, you'll see that it shrinks in size dramatically. So you're really paying for a lot of water solution more than meat. Stick with the fresh chicken breasts. Even though they seem like they cost more, you're gonna get a lot more out of it. Um, eggs are a really good one. Tuna and albacore, they're not the best protein sources, but if you're on a budget, they'll, they'll suffice. We got some of the rice, we got some water. Uh, because I already have some meals prepped, I've got some shrimp that I usually do pre-workout for my protein source. Um, it's a little bit lighter, it's very lean. Um, we're looking for some bagels right now again. I said that's one of my, my favorites for pre-workout. Thomas Blueberry Bagels are my go-to. There's 54 grams of carbs for each bagel and nine grams of sugar. So if you find that you like these as a pre-workout meal and it doesn't bloat you, but you're looking to maybe watch on the sugar, they have bagel thins and there's only six grams of sugar, but there's 25 grams of carbs. So it's a nice alternative. They're a little bit more of a health conscious bagel source, but I go with the blueberry because they're my favorite and it's about 50 grams of carbs, which is just right for what I need. Shrimp is one of my favorite proteins. One, because being on the road is a little easier because they come pre-cooked. But two, it's very lean, there's no fat, so it doesn't sit heavy in your stomach. It's good for pre-workout pre because it's, it's a lighter protein. So these right here are already pre-cooked. Um, there's about 25 in them, so I'll grab two of these. It'll be good for two meals. So I'll take one of these before I train, probably with the bagel. Uh, no fats, not gonna slow down digestion or anything like that. So this is gonna be great for a pre-workout and it's gonna be convenient. I can just pop in the microwave because they're already cooked. All right, Muscle and Strength, we're back here at the kitchen. Uh, just finished our grocery shopping. About ready to eat our pre-workout meal. Uh, based on what you see at the grocery store, we have about 50 grams of white rice. Um, smaller amount of protein here, only about four ounces and I'm doing a Thomas Blueberry Bagel here. So roughly about 100 grams of carbs and about 30, 40 grams of protein-ish. So reason being is keeping this meal a little bit smaller is because I'm gonna train legs. Larger body part, it's gonna be more taxing on the body. So I don't want anything to really sit in my stomach too heavy. Um, I wanna feel you know light on my feet and, and clean. So um, protein is really lean, the shrimp, there's no fat in there and the white rice is a uh, better digesting carb along with the bagel. So got a little bit of sugar, complex carbs, good clean protein.